grab your mocha lattes, grab your frappuccinos, whatever the hell you're drinking. This is a wild ass blitz battle I'm bringing you today. Shout out to my boy Fran for suggesting this topic because he was curious to see my take on who would win. This is Altair from uh, Recreators, an actually very interesting series uh, with some wild scaling versus one of the strongest characters in comic book history, God Emperor Doom. If these two characters were to clash, who do you guys think would win? Let me know in the comment section down below and let me know if I change your mind at all on the topic. And if you're new to uh, this series, Blitz Battles, what I do is basically I give scaling for two characters, what they can do, what they pulled off, and then I just give my brief opinion on who I think wins. And if it does well, I might make it a long uh, scripted battle down the line. But anyways, getting back to this, I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's begin. First up, we're going to talk about character most people know, at least in my fan base, God Emperor Doom. What makes this character so special? Well, first of all, we kind of got to ad address the elephant in the room. My stance on his attack potency, do I, what do I think? Do I think he's multiversal, hyper, outer, mid-outer, high-outer? Like, what? Well, what range do I see? I definitely feel comfortable with putting God Emperor Doom in the outer to mid outer, even high outer range. That range is fine, obviously. I'd probably lean more towards mid outer. I, I That's just my take off the top of my head. Uh, scaling above power sources like the Phoenix, which uh, Cyclops was able to tap into, and he wasn't even able to put down Doom. Uh, the Infinity Gauntlet itself was nothing to uh, doom. And this makes sense because the power he draws from comes from the Beyonders, which come from outside of creation entirely. So they would be several layers into Outer Versal, um, which makes the AP scaling for um, Doom pretty comfortable in this instance. Now, in terms of what he brings to the table, obviously speed, it should kind of um, explain itself if you've scaled before. But... You can't really calculate Doom's speed with normal shit because he inherently has scaling that would put him in higher speed metas due to the fact that his power is extra dimensional and in fact completely beyond dimensions entirely. So you can't calculate it. So he, he does have high tier uh, speed scaling as well to match the attack potency. He's a reality warper, uh, casually able to uh, manipulate even powers like uh, rune magic which is potent enough to affect Celestials. And this is demonstrated when obviously he manipulates his army of Thors. Um, he would inherently scale above beings like Galactus, which is insanely impressive. Obviously energy manipulation, uh, life, death hacks. Uh, and overall, just his insane reality warping and power source makes him a very formidable character on top of him being one of the smartest intellects throughout the multiverse. On the other side, we have a character that's never before been seen. This verse has actually not been seen on any of my channels yet. Altair from Recreators. Now, what can Altair do? Well, first of all, by the way, if I'm saying the name wrong, my bad. But anyways, Altair is um, a female character that essentially has an awareness of her fictional existence. That is, she quite literally knows how she functions in the fictional setting and because of this awareness it allowed her to tap into an insane amount of power that completely changes both creation and multiple creations around her what i mean by this is altair because of something that should be impossible a fictional character realizing their fiction because of that self-awareness, she transcended and it was theorized she was passively causing the Godlands in the regular story verses to collide. That is, with throughout the all infinite stories that exist in imagination, because that's what makes stories, imagination itself, which is obviously an abstract concept. From this is spawned from the Godlands, right? The Godlands transcends that's beyond even the imagination being formed. Well, these are the ones imagining, it, right? Well, she her passive presence and awareness and abilities was causing the Godlands and the story verses to collide, which is insane. In terms of powers, obviously, um, a lot of hers is narrative based. That is, she literally transcends her own narrative. 
she can manipulate narratives she can recognize narratives she can understand where you get your powers from abilities everything about you due to your narrative and your story um she can change the plot she can change your plot she can change your background she can change your plot armor for example if you have something that's considered plot armor she can quite literally get rid of that she can go back on outlines write her own and actually manage to create the story to her own whim and make it like hers as well as the one of the craziest parts of her uh, power set is basically every time someone writes a story about her or involving her she gets infinitely greater like it's just infinite layers stacked upon each other infinite more lives infinite more powers everything across the board and obviously this just stacks continuously and it's some of the craziest scaling you'll ever see so if these two characters were to clash who do i think would win well even though they're new to the channel i personally believe altair is a monster her, her ability to change the narrative she'd be able to recognize uh doom's story his power source his narrative um where it comes from and how to change it she could possibly just write it out of existence um she could write him out of existence she could take away his power source which is like his plot armor in that story like she could do a whole bunch of wild shit to doom and i'm not sure he could actually match her due to the insane narrative powers she's clearly unlocked in her passive ability so because of this uh in including like authors literally writing stuff to beat her and her countering it and inherently knowing about it it's insane i overall i i think she has more awareness better hacks better narrative scaling and would have the ability to take down god emperor doom but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this has been another episode of uh, blitz battles i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see recreators return to this channel and you want to see some of their scaling let me know in the comment section down below but anyways guys thank you so much for watching it's been your boy jobbers and goons i was your host for today on the coffee shop and i'll see y'all later peace